liberal international President Haiti, esteemed panelists, LI Bureau members, distinguished Congress participants, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I would like to begin by thanking Liberal International for inviting me to this important gathering of Liberals from around the world. I also want to take this opportunity to thank our Liberal partners for your continued support for the Democratic Progressive Party and Taiwan. Last year, we lost a dear partner and friend, ALDE Party President Hans von Balen. To me and to the people of Taiwan, Hans was not just a devoted ally and a staunch advocate of liberal values. He was also a trusted friend as we fought side by side to safeguard democracy and its ideals. A towering figure in the liberal movement, Hans left a legacy of a stronger economic and diplomatic partnership between Taiwan and the EU. To carry on Mr. Van Balen's lifelong work, our representative office in Brussels and the Taiwan Foundation for Democracy, in partnership with the European Liberal Forum and AODE Party and the European Liberal Youth, have together launched the Hans Van Balen Scholarship. With this scholarship, we hope to continue building relationships between Taiwan and the EU, and by doing so, to help the spirit of Hans Van Balen live on in all of us. As the memorandum on this year's Congress theme states, the liberal, rules-based world order is facing perhaps its greatest challenge since the establishment of LI 75 years ago. Not only do we have to deal with the global human and economic impact of COVID-19 pandemic, we must combat authoritarian regimes' attempts to infiltrate our democratic institutions and erode human rights and civic space. Russia's invasion of Ukraine shows that authoritarian regimes will use any method to accomplish their expansionist goals. This all comes on top of the existing challenges of climate change, as well as food and supply chain security. It is for these reasons that I agree that there is a need, as stated in this year's theme, to reconstructing a liberal world order. This is also why this physical gathering of the 63rd LI Congress in Sofia, Bulgaria, is so pressing and important. With this Congress, liberals from around the world can discuss and form strategy in person on how we can face these challenges together. I know the representative from my party and from the newly established Asia Pacific chapter of the International Network of Liberal Women are also present at this Congress. I encourage you all to meet with them to exchange experiences and discuss possible opportunities for collaboration. For decades, the DPP has been on the front lines of Taiwan's democratization, defending democracy against authoritarianism. Liberal democracy is an integral part of our identity. In recent years, we have been confronted by increasingly aggressive threats from China, which is seeking to corrode what we have been working so hard for, that is, our democratic way of life. Therefore, Taiwanese have been working even more diligently to address these challenges. From our civil society to our government officials, Taiwanese are not shining away from authoritarianism intrusion. Instead, we are meeting these challenges head on and fighting against domestic and external forces seeking to undermine our democracy. We are willing and eager to share our experiences in countering authoritarian influence with you all. Just as at the outset of the pandemic, Taiwan donated masks and medical equipment to our friends from around the world. We also stand ready to assist and strengthen our collaboration 
with the international community, working together to safeguard the liberal democratic world order. I also believe, as liberals, we can and need to do more. As we watched atrocities committed against Ukraine by Russia, Taiwan is proud to have played a part in the effort to assist the Ukrainians in their struggle to defend their country. Our effort must not stop here. We must educate ourselves on the authoritarian playbook. And we must strengthen our partnership and defend one another. What authoritarian regimes do best is divide and conquer. Therefore, only when we work together and support one another can we succeed in combating the expansionist goals of authoritarian regimes. Three quarters of a century after the Liberal International was founded, we find ourselves facing similar challenges as Liberals and Democrats. And as we moved towards the post-pandemic era, these challenges will only become more profound. But we have also come a long way as Liberals, and we have a shared understanding of how democracy doesn't come easy. This is why I'm confident that by standing united in our values and beliefs, we will always achieve what we set out to accomplish. I wish you all a productive and successful Congress, and I hope we can meet in person in the near future. Thank you very much.